has Jennifer Lopez single-handedly ruined rom-coms? Well, marry me. I've seen the reviews on YouTube and I'm like, have people watched the same movie? Okay, so Jennifer Lopez is not single-handedly ruining rom-coms. If anything, she's trying to save them. She loves love. But in my day, during the rom-com renaissance, the main character was approachable. She was a girl next door. J-Lo is unbelievable and unapproachable in these roles. Marry Me is an adaptation of a graphic novel by the same name and was directed by Kat Koro, who's currently working on the She-Hulk series. This film stars Jennifer Lopez and Maluma as power couple and international superstars Kat Valdez and Bastion. Their millions of fans and the gossip blogs have followed them their entire career and relationship. So they plan to get married live on stage before the world. But moments before they take their vows, gossip blogs splash footage all over the internet of Bastion kissing Kat's assistant as they creep into a hotel room. Well... Obviously, that doesn't sit right with Kat, so she calls off the wedding while she's on stage and gives a speech about trying something different. So she finds the closest guy to the stage holding a marry me sign who happens to be Charlie, a flip phone having regular degular single dad math teacher played by Owen Wilson. It's all in the trailer, so basically you see the whole movie in the trailer. I can't spoil it. This film also stars uh, Sarah Silverman as the comic relief, John Bradley, Chloe Coleman, and everybody's good, good girlfriend, Michelle Buteau. This film struggles to be Notting Hill, but doesn't quite live up to it. And the reason it doesn't is mainly because Owen and Jennifer don't have the on-screen chemistry that Julia Roberts and Hugh Grant shared. Also, during the rom-com renaissance, the leading lady was approachable and very girl next door, something Jennifer Lopez is not. So, Kat Valdez's manager tries to get her out of this. Uh, turns out the marriage wasn't real. They didn't have marriage certificates and so forth. Um, but they eventually convince uh, Charlie to stay married to Cat Valdez for six weeks, um, and then they'll announce their divorce. Charlie eventually agrees to stay married to Cat for the six weeks, and they eventually get to know each other. It's rom com by the numbers. She meets his daughter eventually, not initially, meets the daughter. Uh, they become fast friends. She goes to the school. She goes to the school dance, so forth. You've seen it all in the trailer. Charlie eventually gets threatened by Bastion because Bastion and Kat are nominated for a Grammy for the first time. So they ride the press wave by doing a concert together and so forth. Anyway, uh, he breaks up with her preemptively um, and goes on about his life. They realize they actually love each other. Uh, there's an airport scene because there's always an airport scene. Uh, she flies to uh, the math competition that Charlie and his daughter and class will be in. And you can just guess the rest. Jennifer Lopez does not disappear in these characters. You see Jennifer Lopez. You can't distinguish the international music superstar from the character she plays. She doesn't disappear. Watching this, I kept thinking, this is more of a visual album. This is not a film that we should take seriously. This seems or seemingly sets out to sell records, not necessarily movie tickets. 
There was product placement everywhere. Coach, because Jennifer Lopez is the ambassador of Coach. You saw Coach and Guess and Vitamix. This was more of a TikTok or an extended TikTok than it was a serious romantic comedy. Jennifer Lopez certainly deserves more. She's coming off a critically acclaimed Oscar-worthy performance like Hustlers. Um, and we deserve to see her in better films uh, because when she does drama, she does it extremely well. Now, we will be getting the mother and the godmother from Jennifer Lopez, which she will be starring in and producing about Griselda Blanco. So that's a good thing. We will get a chance to see her chops again. But until then... Um, Hopefully you'll enjoy Marry Me better than I did. Um, it is playing in theaters now, but it is also streaming on Peacock. Thank you so much for bearing with me as I rambled on about uh, Marry Me. Um, if you've seen it already or plan to see it, please let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.